Aquatica Orlando touts itself as offering one of the preeminent water park experiences in the world, and this boasting might just be correct. The theme park mixes the experience of an aquarium with the experience of a traditional theme park, and even features a ride that incorporates real-life sea creatures. Join Vucation as we take a look at all the Aquatica Orlando rides you have to experience. Wanao Way Wanao Way consists of a tower featuring four different giant water slides, and each water slides can fit two occupants at a time on a double inner tube. This means Wanao Way is a ride that can be ridden by eight riders at once. Each of the various water slides that can be found offer several twists and turns, and you'll make a gigantic splash when you hit the waters at the bottom. The water slide tower showcases how Aquatica Orlando likes to do water slides, and it's a perfect introduction to the park. There's a height requirement of 42 inches, so it's not open to everyone. However, these are far from the most extreme offerings at Aquatica Orlando. Kare Kare Curl Kare Kare Curl is a good example of how the park likes to do non-traditional water slides. It's named after the coastal settlement of Kare Kare in New Zealand, which is known globally for its incredible surfing waves. If you're looking for a taste of these waves, in America, the Kare Kare Curl water slide tries to offer that. Although the ride is only 30 seconds long, it offers riders an experience that they're likely to remember forever. You'll need to get on a raft with a bunch of other riders. You and the other riders will be shot down a massive tunnel that spans well over 300 feet. But this gigantic plunge is only the beginning. Once you get to the bottom of the slide, you'll be forced to confront a simulation of an incredibly large Kari Kari wave. While it might not be as crazy as the real thing, it's still pretty crazy. The wave you'll be shot up after plunging down Kari Kari Curl slide is 35 feet tall, and the experience will make you feel like you're flying as you soar through the air. Of course, Kari Kari Curl won't be a ride acceptable for everyone given its intense nature. The height requirement is 42 inches, though even those who meet this requirement might be intimidated. Walkabout Waters Walkabout Waters stands as one of the park's attractions with no height limit whatsoever. That's because it's not really a ride, but more of a playground. But don't let that fool you into thinking it has nothing to offer. Walkabout Waters is meant to resemble a rainforest, and it's 60 feet tall and spans 15,000 square feet. The experience is tons of fun, and you may even find yourself getting lost for hours. Riptide Race The Riptide Race features two dual water slides that each can fit a double inner tube. This allows two pairs of riders to race against each other to see who gets to the bottom first. Aquatica Orlando is great about adding extra dimensions to traditional water park experiences, and the Riptide Race is another stunning example. The ride is particularly fun if you're visiting with four or more people because you know everyone who's involved in the race. To ride the Riptide Race, you and your party will have to make your way up to a 68-foot tall tower. From there, you'll be off on your race. The slides themselves are fairly long at nearly 700 feet, though they're mild enough that the ride shouldn't be off-putting for younger park visitors. The height requirement is 42 inches, which seems plenty appropriate. Ray Rush the Ray Rush is another raft water slide not too dissimilar from the Kari Kari Curl, but it's not quite as intense and doesn't have as high of a height requirement. The Ray Rush also has a unique manta ray theming that makes it stand out. Similar to the Kari Kari Curl, the ride starts out as a basic raft water slide before turning into something else completely once you hit the bottom. Whereas the Kari Kari Curl offers riders the experience of riding a simulated Kari Kari wave, the Ray Rush features giant manta wings that riders will slide back and forth on up to 60 feet in the air. Before we tell you more about the best rides at Aquatica Orlando, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Cutback Cove and Big Surf Shores Technically, this is two attractions and neither one of them is a ride, but no trip to Aquatica Orlando is complete without experiencing the park's dual wave pools. Big Surf Shores is the more relaxing of the two, while Cutback Cove can get pretty intense. Either way, you'll have a ton of fun. Reef Plunge the Reef Plunge is one of the newest additions to Aquatica Orlando's repertoire of attractions, and it's quickly become one of its most popular as well. The Reef Plunge is another water slide with a twist, though this twist goes a bit farther than any of the twists mentioned before. The twist of the Reef Plunge is that the ride features actual dolphins. It consists of a giant treehouse-themed tower with two translucent slides branching out of it. Regardless of which these slides riders take, they're in for a treat. The Reef Plunge doesn't require a raft or inner tube, and there can only be one 
one rider in each slide at a time. However, the draw of the reef plunge isn't necessarily the slide itself, but the fact that going down the slide takes you through an underwater environment populated by dolphins. Not everyone who rides the reef plunge gets the experience of a dolphin riding right past their slide, but it's not uncommon. Regardless, the slide offers a great time with each ride, and the experience is always slightly different due to the element of real sea life. The slide itself is plenty of fun and can be a little intense. Because of this, the reef plunge sadly has a limiting height requirement of 48 inches. Ehu's Breakaway Falls Ehu's Breakaway Falls is a strange and somewhat terrifying attraction consisting of four breakaway platforms and three slides. The ride takes four at a time, but only three of its riders will end up going down one of Ehu's Breakaway Falls' thrilling water slides. Of course, no one is supposed to know which of the four platforms isn't going to break away, resulting in an unprecedented surprise that might be too much for riders. Like the Reef Plunge's dual water slides, the three water slides that make up Ehu's Breakaway Falls branch out of a giant treehouse-themed tower. Each of the three slides offered by the ride provide a different experience, so you'll have to ride it multiple times to know everything the ride has going for it. Kata's Kookaburra Cove Kata's Kookaburra Cove is the section of Aquatica Orlando designated for small children, so those seeking thrills should stay away. However, families will find that there's plenty of fun to be had within this area of the park, which is filled with plenty of small water slides and other stuff for kids. Kids are unlikely to ever get bored here, but parents might. Loggerhead Lane not all the rides at Aquatica Orlando are crazy, and Loggerhead Lane is an example of one that is fairly relaxing. It's Aquatica Orlando's answer to the Lazy River, and it's a ton of fun for park visitors who find themselves in the mood for a little downtime. Of course, given that it's Aquatica Orlando and not your run-of-the-mill water park, Loggerhead Lane features a few flourishes that make it stand out from the traditional Lazy River, including some bamboo bridges providing scenery. Roa's Rapids if Loggerhead Lane is a little too lazy for your tastes, but you still like the idea of coasting relatively aimlessly down a river, Roa's Rapids offers a slightly more intimidating river. It's a great attraction for older kids, many of whom might find themselves bored by Loggerhead Lane. Tramada Racer The Tramada Racer is another attraction that offers riders the chance to race each other down adjacent water slides, but it's a good deal more intense. It features eight water slides that each only fit one rider, but these water slides are a great deal more intense than the one found on the Riptide Race, even though the height requirement is the same at 42 inches. Walhalla Wave the Walhalla Wave may be the last ride we'll take a look at, but it's not the least. It's another raft water slide, and it's incredibly intense. It sends up to four riders plunging six stories in 40 seconds down a dark tunnel with numerous twists and turns. Which of these rides sounds best to you? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.